If you are a black content creator, I suggest you give up on the black community because the majority of the black folks in these communities, they don't wanna be helped. They wanna play victim for the rest of their lives and they will always be on the bottom of the shoe of every other race that comes to this country and they will always play victim. Here's why and here's evidence. It's not like a car where you can pull over on the side when something goes wrong. And uh, I knew it was time to begin to believe God uh, for a, a new airplane. It didn't. Chris Hall didn't have a jet when I was here. And now he has one and he's asking for another one. But parishioner Mary Jones, who takes the bus to church, says she'd happily give to Dollars Jet Drive. Most definitely, most definitely. We support our pastor. That's what we're here for. Dollar asks parishioners to give 10% of their income to the church, but gives no public accounting of how the millions are spent. You can't even justify, like, I can't reason to myself why I would take the bus in the rain, sleet, or snow so someone else can get into a, a Rolls Royce and then get driven to a Gulfstream jet where I give 10% of my money to help them ride in style. See, what tends to happen is you get a lot of ignorant black folks, not all, you get a lot of ignorant black folks, they'll hop in the comments and they'll say, you need to worry about your own kind. You need to help uplift the community instead of dragging us down. Do you hate your black skin? Do you, you know, who hurt you? Or um, uh, um, um, other cultures do it too. So let me get this straight. When people don't acknowledge black folks are struggling, you play victim and you say no one cares about black folks. And then when we do acknowledge black folks, the people who are black, you say that we are tearing you down. And if white folks try to help you, you say you don't know what goes on in, in the black communities. We want leadership from black people. And then you come out and say that there are no black leaders. Which one, which one is it, okay? See, here's what happens. Black folks, they're not, a lot of black folks are not smart enough to understand that there's a person named Kenneth C. Frazier. See, this person is not their idol, okay? Because he had to put that hard work in. He had to go to college, he had to get his doctorate, that he became the first black CEO of a pharmaceutical company and was at the head of a profitable company for 30 years and net worth is well over a hundred million dollars and he did it the hard way and he will never get shot you know filming a video he won't get shot in the hood he you know he's probably gonna live a great life and if he marries a white woman they'll say he's disconnected from the black community they don't like people like this they'll never follow someone like this this will never make the news and black folks won't search things like this a lot of black folks will search people like Lil Durk who probably owns none of his masters the record label owns him they gave him a couple chains but that's their idol all right they will idolize people who come back to the hood and put them on t-shirts and get killed in the hood because they kept it real but but then they tear down people like Russell Wilson and you know other black athletes or black movie stars who left the ghetto and that are still alive. They tear them down if they leave and they don't come back. They tear down Michael Jordan for marrying a white woman and for leaving the hood and doesn't like rap music, but they're still dumb enough to put their last Popeye's paychecks to go get a pair of Jordans and not invest in themselves. You can't save them. I can't save black folks from giving their money to people on YouTube for discords, VIPs, real estate scam, uh, quick day trading scams, and day trading scams. See, here's the thing, stupid people. I'm going to only make content for everyone now. I'm no longer making content trying to help black folks because you're too dumb enough like you're too stupid to understand when people say I trade live on the discord and Tuesdays and Thursdays They're talking to a certain type of person a degenerate who's unemployed at home Or who is willing to wake up and give his time to someone else to trade live to possibly make money or lose money Or you're at work sneaking away in the bathroom sitting in the stall to be a degenerate and not doing the job that you're supposed to be doing. Probably customer service where I'm on hold for 30 minutes because you wanna watch idiots like Keenan Grace trade live on the Discord. There's no saving them. I'm making content for everybody. The people who wanna follow me, follow me. If you find offense to this, unsubscribe. I don't care, but there's no saving the black community. There's no saving a lot of the people in the black community because a lot of them, they just wanna play victim forever and point the finger. No regrets.